Alright, hey guys, MCT players here with my video's time. I have some very important things to say about Activision and their uh, greed and stuff. Uh, this, was, this was a video that I've been trying to kind of hold off on for a while, but I really wanted to discuss. And um, first of all, uh, one thing is Activision is greedy. You, you guys may know that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so the background is just, uh, but first, but the background is just Battlefield 4, just me playing. Uh, conquest on Shija Shanghai, and yeah, um, but first thing, first uh, thing that I want to mention is, Activision is very greedy, um, you guys may have seen that because the Co Call of Duty, if you guys play Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, well actually, it started with Advanced Warfare, and it then it went to Black Ops 3, then Infinite Warfare, and then it just went on from there. And it's very sad to see that happen because um, I actually used to enjoy the game a lot, but now that they have stuff where you get stuff from the supply drops, I, kn I know it, it extends the life of the game slightly, um, but for me it just, it just ends up aggravating me and making me not want to play the game because I can't unlock anything that everyone else has uh, from legit ways that, and I have to play, I have to, like, I, it's, it's not... Like I think it's not a good gameplay s a standpoint to just make a player make a player like me uh, grind like grind and keep grinding. Well, I mean I get I get that you grind. I, that's fun sometimes, but when you grind and you don't know what you're getting when you grind, it, it's not fun. It's not fun when you don't know what you're getting. To me, at least. And Infinite Warfare had a good way of doing it. Uh, you could buy variants of stuff. Although I didn't play Infinite Warfare that much, uh, it's kind of what I heard is that they had variants and stuff, different different uh, ver ver versions of guns instead of having whole different guns that have better stats than any gun in the game, such as Black Ops 3. Um, but yeah, and uh, there, there's here's another example. Um, uh, at Destiny 2, Destiny 2, and technically Destiny 1, because Destiny 1, I, I I haven't played much of it, but the expansions were the price of a full game, so basically you were playing. You were paying for how many expansions were there? I think there was four. So that you were paying for five full games almost, and you basically in Destiny Two has actually made it worse than Destiny One, which which is basically you have to pay for it or else you can't complete much. You can't do much if you don't have the if you don't have the newest DLC. Which I don't have to worry about in the Destiny one, but I I don't really play it that much because I don't enjoy it. Um, and don't don't think I don't think I'm hating on Destiny. I, I get that people enjoy it. I get that people enjoy games. Um, but yeah. And it's it's just sad that a game like that uh, just gets that treatment. The ga games like that are that are relatively good in graphics and stuff get that treatment of being. Well, I mean I mean it's not really. It's not really a treatment, it's more of just, it's sad, it's sad to say the least, that a game like Call of Duty that, with, that had its gold days in like 2012-ish, with Black Ops 2, and then it's kind of, it's kind of, it's sat up there, but it's kind of going down slowly. I mean, I enjoy Treyarch, don't don't get me wrong, I enjoy Treyarch games, I enjoy Infinity War, Infinity War games, I enjoy Sledgehammer games, but the newer Call of Duties, I haven't played to the fullest extent, because... I frankly don't enjoy uh, grinding for days just to get just to have a chance because I don't play Call of Duty all the time. I just play it whenever I'm bored and I don't I don't grind on it. I just come sort of have fun and that that's honestly what I do and I really enjoy that. Um, I enjoy playing with my friends, but yeah, not many of my friends are getting into Call of Duties because of that and uh, yeah, I just. I just really wish they would add like challenges instead of adding um, loot boxes and stuff like that. Like challenges like Forza. Forza, you don't have to pay anything, but you can if you want to. That's a good thing to do. I like Forza's way of doing. It. That's why I play it so much because there's so much replay uh, value. Like you can go wherever you want and stuff like that. Um, with Destiny, I just get aggravated because I don't know what to do, and um, I honestly don't know what to do, and it doesn't t it doesn't tell you, which is which, I kind of get that that's kind of what it's try trying to do, is not to tell you what to do. Um, but yeah, 
it's just a little bit aggravating to me whenever I uh, have to do that. I have to, I have to basically um, wonder where I have to go and just wander around the map, uh, going, "Hey, do I do this? Do I do that?" But I mean, it does give you some direction, but like, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going at five minutes halfway through. Um, a few more things I want to discuss is if Activision wants to fix their games, put challenges in them. I mean, it, it's worked well with other games, like um, Battlefield, for example. They, they do challenges and loot boxes, but not really... I mean, Battlefront 2 was, <laughs> disaster, was a disaster. It was a disaster in terms of loot boxes. Uh, but Battlefield 1 was actually a really good solution. You put cosmetics in loot boxes, you have challenges for players that really want to get good weapons and stuff, and it, it, it mainly focused on ranking up and stuff. And, and it definitely out, it, I think it outsold, about, I think it outsold Call of Duty that year, and actually the trailer looked way better, and was so, it, because this, why I think the trailer looked so good is because Call of Duty looked so, the, the trailer for Call of Duty looked so bad. Honestly, it looked so bad, because it, basically, it was copying off of Halo, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. If you play Halo, it's George's armor. They have the Pelican in there, which isn't even theirs. Microsoft could have sued them for that, yet they didn't care. <laughs> they did not care at all. And they're just like, yeah, we, we, we could think of our own stuff, but we, we're just going to go ahead and copy Halo. Because, you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I like Infinity Ward, and I enjoy their older games, but... The people from Infinity Ward have kind of moved on to... Um, Titanfall, so they, they actually worked on Titanfall 2, which is really, I've heard it's really good and I want it so bad, but I've also heard it's dead. I've heard the game is dead in terms of attrition. Um, <laughs> like, there's nothing else, My like, a lot of people have said, there's a lot of people that have said that all their, all, all you can find match, good matches for is attrition. There's like no other matches, which is sad, because that game... I've also heard, because I don't have the game, but I've heard, and I really want it really bad, I've heard that they don't have really any, any microtransactions. Well, I guess they kind of do, but they're not as bad as any other games. And I'm happy for that, because th at least there's a, there's a AAA game that's by EA, which is a really good game, but no one bought it. And that's, that's sad, because... I really enjoyed the first Titanfall, and I really want to get the second one, but I'm just kind of like, I don't want to be getting a dead game, and then have to, I, I really can't experience the whole game in its full, unless I have the, uh, what's it called, I have, unless I have the, uh, well, never mind, unless, I, I don't know where I was going with that, but uh, yeah, so, another game that, Code that you could take uh, take tips from is its older games. Like if you look at its older games, like Black Ops One, it had challenges to get like COD. Uh, I mean, COD points. I know they're gonna stay in the game. I know that. But like it would be it would be nice if there was a way to get them. Like in Black Ops One, it would be nice if if they could do that. And uh, I I would think a lot of people would agree with me that um, COD points are kind of just like. They're annoying, but you, you guys know they're going to stay in there, so, but yeah, and, um, yeah, and that's about it, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below, um, also, if you want to see any, any more videos on the or discussions, you can go ahead and, uh, co request those in the comments, because, uh, the comments are a place for you guys to chat, and I, I would read the comments, I read as many as I can, uh, if I don't read your, I, if I don't, if I don't respond to yours or heart it, uh, means that I, I had not, currently had or not near my computer. Uh, but yeah. Usually on the weekends, I get to them. Like on Sundays, I definitely get to them. Uh, but yeah, and here's, here's where the tower falls, somewhere in here. It's lagging a little bit on my computer. Uh, but yeah. So. I would just like to say, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, the music's ending. See ya! Bye.